Hey everyone, so today I'm going out for lunch with Anita who actually became friend from Instagram. Coincidentally, her daughter's name is Nia as well who is like a year and a half older than my Nia. So anyway, um, that is how we met. So it is so nice to catch up with her. I've not met her for probably five months. I think sometime in February or maybe January. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. So I'm just waiting for her in car park. She's about to come. And yeah, I'll vlog a little bit. That is what we are doing. Having girls like um, day out without kids. So now is looking after um, Nia and Misha while, uh, you know, Anita's hobby is looking after their two kids. So it's so nice to go out uh, like kids free basically. That's what I meant. Hello. So she's Anita. We're Hi. going out. So we are here inside the car. She's here, Anita. She has already said hello to you guys. So I need to give her a little something. This is her gift. Eyo. Nothing is special. Like perfume jai, <laughs> <nahi. laughs> This is what we do. We do like this, right? Poor thing, no. Perfume go bag use gari ko, kya reuse gari ko. Lot of people like it. Thank you, thank you. One pasi, one for the next stuffer. Pasi, no, not that. It's the fancy stuff packaging. I hope you like it. This is where we are. They got this here because of social distancing at the moment. We are in Witherspoon because the queue for other places were massive. Okay, let's go with pepperoni then. Her choice. <laughs> Our food is here. So I've got blue chicken, spring onions, chips, and then that is ribs and some sauce. And that is Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. Anita, looks nice. <laughs> wow. And she has got yours is ribs, eh? Give her ribs on that. This is holy fries at the side mirror. It was holy fries. This is our holy fries. Oh my god. Tell them. We actually only paid 12 pounds. Oh, yeah, 12, 12 something. Yeah, 12 less something. than 30 pounds. Less than 30 pounds for all this food. Oh my god. So we basically got like 50 percent off from government so that is the scheme government is running at the moment i'm not sure if you can hear me but yeah oh my god amazing so this is the mukbang for you guys <laughs> because you are asking for mukbang all the time yeah <laughs> out here shopping and Anita is at the back this is our new norm have to wear a mask which is mandatory fake plants. she's saying she likes that fake one yeah beautiful okay okay I need to find 2020 notebook all right it's the it's the green bush Mommy, do you? Mommy, friends, so all lunch can't done, but then you're leading away. Now let's go. Not reading that when I do them. We have stickers and paintbrushes and ABC deer and reading cutter and your painting gum. Finish with it. And I'm so happy, my kids. Your mom and woman happy. Happy, no way. Give one of us a mommy, lady. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome, Chodi. Okay, so I got these stickers for Nia to put this on her greeting card. I also got this for Nia, which is acrylic pen. It's in tubes and there are six colors in it. Next one, this ABCD sticker. This one here, paint brushes. Got quite a lot of it. This is a greeting card. So I also got this paint palette here. So she can put her water paint or acrylic paint here. Today I thought I'll show you my green juice recipe. I've got all the ingredients here. And the star product is this one here, which is tea beauty butterfly collagen I'm gonna show you what exactly I have in here I've got kale here and then two apples half lemon and at the end of it I'm gonna add some collagen collagen is like really good for our hair skin nails even our joints tendons etc so in our 20s we tend to lose quite a lot of collagen hence the reason why we should be taking 
collagen supplements. I've been taking collagen supplements for about five months and I've seen quite a lot of progress uh, in terms of my hair, skin, etc. Um, so that is why I love having collagen. And yeah, I'm really happy to partner with Timmy. They have got acai berry, which is antioxidants. Also got butterfly pea flower in it and marine collagen. Now let's move on to making a green juice. The best thing about this juicer is that I can actually put the whole apple here. I don't have to cut this. All right, the juice is ready. This is what I drink every day. And now the next bit I'm gonna do is add collagen in here. Now I've got to stir this really well and voila, it's ready to drain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, sure. Nisha is trying to make a baby sleep by singing ha, 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 ha like we do it when we are trying to make her nap. Whoopsie, whoopsie, Nisha. Well done, Chedi. Uh oh, uh oh, Leninus. Leninus. And Misha and Shivani are here making a lot of noises. That's Shivani. Say hi, Shivani. Hi. Surprise. Shivani and Nia. Thank you. Well done, Nia. Say so thank you. Thank you. Well done. Hey guys, I just thought I'll show you some H&M stuff, home stuff that I bought. It came kind of like three, four days ago and I'm really excited to share this with you. Instead of like doing separate home haul video, I decided to include this on a vlog because I don't have a lot of items to be honest. I've only got four items and I've just realized right now I've only got three items in front of me. One is actually in my kitchen. So I'll show you that later. Do like a separate footage. Apologies for that. I completely forgot about that one. But since we got it, I've been using that one, which I absolutely love. These days, I've been only picking up items that I would absolutely love. Because sometimes what happens is I buy like home stuff and then guess what after a while i just fall out of love with it or either have like love hate relationship um it's crazy but that happens to me and i have to be 100 percent sure that i really want that stuff otherwise um i keep changing my mind basically so hence the reason why i want to be 100 percent sure that i want to spend my money on this stuff let's start with the fast item this vlog might be a little bit long so you can go and get yourself a drink i just want to do a catch up as well you guys know like i love talking with you on my vlogs so the first one is this one which is a line painting i'm really into line painting at the moment i've been actually checking out etsy but some of the line painting over there is quite expensive this is 30 by 40 centimeter and this one was only 8.99 really lovely i've actually not taken this out of this plastic uh, cover it comes with because i want to keep this safe until it gets framed uh, i'm not sure where i'm going to keep this uh, my initial plan was to keep this in my doorway but let's see what happens this is the tray that i forgot to show you earlier it is 100 percent wood and the quality is spot on i really like how it says standard supply here another one oh my god i had been eyeing this piece for a long long time i had to be sure like whether i really want to bring this in my home so basically when i say like i'm only buying things that i love you know how like marie kondo says keep things in your home that sparks joy so that is what i'm doing for these days whenever i look at this stuff that i have it just brings joy to me makes me so happy whenever i see them so this one i'm so happy like this was back in stock this is a really lovely tray you can see actually it was bigger than i thought i normally read dimension but for this tray i was so much in love with this one that i didn't even read the dimension uh i wanted to read the dimension if it's here but there is no dimension here so anyway it comes in a one size this is how it looks and guess what this is such a lovely tray the detail here oh my god it sold me this one here it reminds me of nepal because we used to get stuff like this in nepal nepal was very popular so this is like so popular out there in nepal like you can get so many beautiful stuff made out of bamboo which 
we don't get it here to be honest and that is why it's so precious here over there like not many people actually you know use that kind of stuff for decor unless if they have like knack for it but anyway i got this one it has got really lovely weaving which is made out of bamboo oh this is so beautiful i feel nostalgic whenever i see this so i had to get this one if i'm going back to nepal i was supposed to go this year in october to celebrate um you know the heart but unfortunately this a uh, whole you know covid uh, thing happened so we had to cancel our plan misha was also supposed to go on her first holiday in spain in uh, april unfortunately that didn't happen because uh, we had a lockdown here and we were advised not to go to spain by the government so um i would have loved to come back to nepal in october november time this year and we were planning to celebrate nia's birthday in nepal her fourth birthday because next year she goes back to school and we won't be able to take her to nepal especially during like the city hard time that's the reason we really wanted to take nia back to nepal and also another thing i want to take my kids to nepal often you know when i feel like they would get used to like nepal go environment culture etc because no matter how much you try hard to teach your kids culture here it's a little bit different because we are minority here i mean it's like some nepali and some gura go comparison ma or risk go comparison ma bonum no so the culture here is so different i know you but currently got that culture food everything um Motunale, I want to teach them. So to buy I say um I wanted to take them to Nepal, but unfortunately that is not happening. It would have been Misha's like first Nepal trip. So anyway, that is that. Uh hopefully, fingers crossed, next year we would be able to travel more. I seriously love traveling and I hope my kids would be a traveler as well one day. I wish I had traveled uh you know when I was even more younger. I started in my twenties, which is not bad, but I wish I had traveled in my teens but at that time it was like a very different kind of scenario environment people don't used to travel much and what people used to think was people who used to travel we used to think they are rich which is not the case <laughs> but anyway so that is that i hope some of you will agree with me about that you know thinking rich people only travel that is what we used to think but that's not the case as i have experienced myself this one is a vase which doesn't look like a vase oh god this is so beautiful i really want to buy a bust in my house to keep it in one corner but i'm not going to get it until my kids are older cuz oh god misha is at this age like she's a toddler she's like going everywhere it's really hard to look after her she's very active but this one uh, i'm not going to use it as a vase it has got like half cut out face doesn't have eye it looks weird for some people it might do but for me this is like piece of art and you know what this one was oh god i just realized i forgot to tell you the price oh god i'm like this this happens to me that tray was i think i'll just put the link for you so that you can check out i think that was around like under 20 pound i'm just going to keep this in my room this will hold all my perfumes sunglasses i'm very minimalistic when it comes to uh, like um perfume everything to be honest from fashion to perfumes i have never bought perfume for myself and someone said actually do perfume collection so i'll do perfume collection on my next vlog so yeah watch out for that one so this one um really lovely i really like it it just attracted me so much i was checking out this for a while i'm not going to put any flowers in it i don't know i just feel like it might not look great but that is it and i just realized i got to show you something as well which i got it from bnm let me quickly go and grab it and back so i got myself a laundry basket really cheap really lovely as well and it is in black this is how it looks it just says laundry today or shopping tomorrow which is so cool i really love that um text here like how what it says i even like font style as well and the best part is it has got this really nice spongy bit here this one was only 8.99 quite big you can see this quite big i really like the shape of it and another thing i just want to make some more interesting videos on youtube let's see what happens and also i'm not sticking any more with my schedule cuz normally i used to do two videos per week thursday and sunday 1 pm thursdays for fashion video and sundays for vlog unfortunately nav has gone back to work so i don't get much time to film videos i've got so many ideas but unfortunately i don't have 
much time because I've got kids to look after and they are my priority basically I would rather look after my kids than just not care about them and just film videos yeah I'm that sort of person I'm racked with guilt if I don't look after my kids well and if I just do videos um, that's not me I can't do that also in terms of YouTube I want to make more like interesting videos like talk about more about my life as well because I feel like I have a story to tell and guess what everybody has their own story I'm kind of like an introvert quite shy person um, I wanted to do kind of like a personal video as well but also at the same time I quite like my privacy <laughs> so I think sometimes I feel like I don't know how I'm doing YouTube because I really like my privacy I don't want to reveal too much on YouTube and you guys know like I don't vlog everything on YouTube anyway so but I think I'll talk about a few uh, bits of my life I feel like that would be interesting not only interesting to be honest I'm not doing it thinking that would be interesting video that people will watch or I'll get more followers I feel like that would help other people to get inspired and I am all about like inspiring people I really love motivating people you know if my story can help others or inspire others I feel like um, I should share my story so that is it for today thank you so much for watching and it's always lovely to get your lovely uh, comments feedbacks you guys know like I look forward for your comments especially I feel like it helps me to grow and if you are on Instagram please come and follow me there as well same name as YouTube fashion pretty bug and thank you so much for watching i don't know what else to say that is it i think it has become a little bit long and i hope you don't mind that i know a lot of you love when i chat with you guys and thank you so much for being so considerate and kind to me and it doesn't take anything to be kind so let's be kind to each other and if you would like to see more from me please do subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next vlog till then take care bye guys